hey guys welcome to our website etl testing tutorial so today we are going to cover all these topics so before we start let me discuss about some of the queries that may come in your mind so first of all what will be the duration of the course see it will take around 5 to 6 weeks to cover the whole course and do we cover life projects yes we cover life projects as well in each and every topic like if we will cover the informatica and if we are covering the tableau so we will cover life projects in each and every platform now do we provide pre recordings yes we provide live sessions as well as pre recordings so now the next question is is it sufficient is the is the stuff sufficient to clear an interview or work on a project yes it is sufficient to work on a project or clear an interview but it also depends on your uh, practice that how you are doing that so the next question is the tools that we are using are free or not yes they are totally free and we'll also discuss discuss about them in a detailed manner in the coming sessions i have also provided an overview of all the tools that we are going to cover like in my recording sessions we will be using informatica and tableau and i'll also work with the sql platform oracle platform all things fine so let us get started so first of all before going through the things that what all are the different etl tools what are the advantage of using etl tool so first thing that we must know before we cover the whole course is why do we need etl see what is the requirement of etl why do we need etl what do we mean by etl so we must know that so first of all if i talk about what is etl etl means it stands for extraction transformation and loading so what do we mean by extraction transformation and loading over here see in my case extraction means we will extract data from different different sources that will come in different different format formats and after the extraction is done we will transform the data and then it will load the data in a target area that is my data warehouse so this process is known as etl basically why do we need to go through this what uh, why do we need etl basically okay so for that i have already um, come with a analogy so this is the sales data of walmart store so what is happening over here let us assume that these are some products that are listed out in this sales table okay and on the basis of these products we are we are generating some more data like what is the price and what is the quantity that has been sold and what is the date fine so this one is coming with the price of the product and this one is the quantity that how much quantity is is being sold in a particular day and what is the date for that day fine so these all are the columns of that very sales data now uh, uh let me go with correct spelling for quantity so yeah, that's correct so this one is the quantity column and then the date column is coming now what if we are having the price as 60 rupees for a bar of so a bar or soap of pears and the quantity that is being sold in each day is 12 and the date on which it was sold is 20th april 2020 or 2019 fine let us assume that this is the date when it was sold fine now on the basis of this data which is getting generated some business queries do get arised now what kind of business queries are arising let me show you let me show you the example see the predictable questions are 
which all products are more in demand in the month of october which product is less in demand in the last year which product was less in demand in the previous year or if we are dividing the data into categories let me show you that like this is my example and what if i am dividing the data according to some categories like in the fa first category i am having this much records in the second category i am having this much products and the, in the third category i am having this much items okay so now this one is let us assume that this one is category a category b and category c now if we divide the data in categories so on the basis of uh, that category on basis of those categories some more business queries may get arise what kind of business queries let me show you like which products come in category a or which products of category b are more in sale right so if we are dealing with a single product a single store walmart store then it is very easy to answer these kind of questions why because all the data all the records of this walmart store is coming in a single format right what if the data is what if the same kind of walmart store is present in different different countries like india usa china and russia now these all countries are using different different platforms for storing their data like russia and then assume china and then us is coming okay fine now let us assume that india is using xls format for storing the data and us is using oracle database for storing its data and china is using PostgreSQL as and Russia is using MS SQL or SQL Server we can say for storing the data. Now here what is happening? Different different countries are using different different platforms for storing the data. And now if I want to analyze the data uh, on the basis of the business queries, we can't do that. Why? Because first of all, what we need to do basically, we need to extract all the data from different different countries and put up in a single platform. Okay. After the data is presented in a single platform, then we can analyze the data and answer the business queries. So for analyzing these kind of queries, for answering them, we need ETL. Okay. So this is the basic reason why we need ETL. Now see. what we are going to do over here we are going to fetch the data from different different areas from different different platforms okay and then i'll transform the data why we need to transform the data what are the problems that is present in the data see when we fetch the data from different different sources those data can have so many problems why because they are coming in a raw form of data now why do what do we mean by raw form see if i talk about the raw form of data what kind of problems it may have let us discuss about them see the raw form of data may come in the format of xls notepad cvs sql oracle or any other kind of platform okay but the problems that it may come with is the data may contain duplicate values it may have multiple values in a single column the null values can be present and the data can be inconsistent if i show you an example of these kind of problems here i'm having the data of a resort right and if you check the data is coming in a file format that means in xls format and here if you check there are multiple values in a single column see in the room numbers column i'm having multiple values in a single cell so this is not recommendable when we are using a database right first of all what we need to do we need to transform this data we need to put a single value in a single cell so that the data can get filtered out right and if i talk about in the preferences column here so many values are getting repeated so this is also not relevant so these kind of problems may occur when we are 
fetching the raw data. Now we have to transform these kind of data. So how we gonna transform this? We we are going to transform it with the help of ETL tool. Okay. So let's discuss about some ETL tools. Like basically, if I say different different vendors provide different different tools for cleansing the data. So these all are the list of ETL tools that are uh, in the market. So in my recording sessions, I will be using the Informatica as my ETL tool for cleansing the data for performing some intermediate transformations. Now, when we are going through the fetch process, when we are fetching some data or when we are transforming the data, so what kind of data we may fetch? What all are the sources of data? So see. As I have already told you, we will fetch the data from different different sources. So those sources may use different different platforms for storing the data, and those platforms can be presented like PostgreSQL, Flat Files, Google Sheets, IBM DB. Okay. So basically, in the ETL process, what we do is we extract the data from different different sources. We put the data in the staging area for performing the transformation for cleansing the problems that are. Basically, presenting in the raw form of data, and after that, what we do? We put the data in a data warehouse. You must also know some of the technical terms of the data warehouse, like the subsets of data warehouse. What do we mean by subsets? Basically, subsets are the uh, we can say sub the sub parts of data warehouse. Okay. so who will who will fetch the data who will transform the data who will load the data into the data warehouse so this is the task of a etl tester i have also listed out some more roles of etl tester like how how he will apply some transformation logic remove the duplicate data ensure that no spam data is loaded also he will go through the data type check so that's all so this was an introduction a video that why do we need etl or what why do we need to learn etl what all are the different etl tools and what are the advantages of using etl tool what all are the sources that we can take while using an etl tool and what is the role of an etl tester so that's all and thank you for joining